This is a nice demonstration to show how the seismic wave shadow zones are produced by the Earth. My torch here is representing the source of seismic waves, and this is representing the Earth. And at the moment, the whole Earth is uniform, and so the seismic waves go through the Earth all the way in all directions, and therefore they would be detected all the way around the Earth. But the Earth has a liquid core, so let's add a beaker of water to represent that. The P wave seismic waves, which are longitudinal, can travel through the liquid core, and so like the light here, they are refracted in the liquid core, which means the waves are still detected here, and they're still detected here where they can go directly without going through the liquid core. But we get these shadow zones for the P waves here and here, where because they are refracted by liquid, they're not detected. The other kind of seismic waves, S waves, which are transverse and cannot travel through a liquid, to represent what happens with those, let's replace our beaker with a beaker which is surrounded by black paper, which won't let the light through to represent the S waves not being able to travel through the liquid core. And now we can see that we get a larger shadow zone all the way around here where none of the waves can reach. This is a nice demonstration which you can do under a visualizer or as a student practical when teaching about seismic waves in physics or earth science.